Hi, everybody. Welcome to Cox Connections. Brad Grunbar, Director of Public Government Affairs for Cox, Louisiana, and thank you so much for tuning into this segment. One of, uh, I would say, many organizations, but this one particularly uh, has done such great work in the greater New Orleans area, and um, the AFP, which is the Association of Fundraising Professionals, has done amazing uh, work recognizing and also help supporting those fundraisers in our community, and they have their national, um, uh, part of National Philanthropy Day. They have a luncheon every year. We'll talk a little bit more about that, it, but it is a must be, must go to uh, if you are in the area of philanthropy or have a passion for it. And uh, we're here on this segment and honored to have Miss Alice Wright, who is the president of the AFP of New Orleans, and joining her, uh, Mr. Dick Truding, who is recognized this year as the 2011 Outstanding Volunteer Fundraising winner. And great to have you both, Alice Thank and, you. Dave, and Dick as well. Thank you both for coming. Alice, as I said, it's a, you know, a great organization, and, and I'll do a shameless plug. At Cox, we were so honored last year to be recognized as a winner um, for, uh, on Philanthropy Day for our great uh, uh, corporate outreach and, and engagement that we do. And we were honored by that, humbled by that. And it is truly, may I say, in, in my 22 years at Cox, is probably one of the greatest awards that we received because we know that it, re it is a representative of our peers and businesses and people we work as a community and a region together to work with. Well, it was a well-deserved honor, Brad, and we're glad to have you and well, recognize all that you. Cox does in New Orleans. Well, thank you very much. Tell everybody, I did my best for 30 seconds to tell great. everybody about the <laughs> AFP, but it, how long has it been okay. around? Well, AFP International has been around 51 years. Wow. It was founded in 1960 and has 30,000 members, 50,000 members internationally. There are chapters in Canada, Mexico, Europe, Asia, Indonesia, uh, because fundraising is an international profession. Sure. And uh, there are 207 chapters internationally. The New Orleans chapter was founded in 1986, wow. and we have about 150 members locally. Uh, there's also a chapter on the North Shore. And it's a great, uh, I think it's a great organization because it, it also, great networking, of course, Absolutely. obviously, because, you know, there's so many great ideas, no sense in reinventing the wheel in mm -hmm. many ways, so there's a great uh, opportunity for collaboration and, and uh, best practices, et cetera. Well, we have a very high standard of ethics, what well, we have to sign a code of ethics. Yes, ma'am. And uh, there are also, we promote a donor's bill of rights so mm. that the donors know what their rights are. Sure. Uh, we want to promote ethical fundraising. We have training, education courses. Uh, there's a national conference each year which attracts about 4,000 people. This year it is going to be in Canada, so <laughs> the international part comes in. Very nice. Unfortunately, I'm not going to oh. that one. <laughs> we'll do a fundraiser to get you there. Next <laughs> <laughs> but it is a great organization, as you said, the collaborative effort. Absolutely. And we all share anything that works for us may work for someone else Absolutely. and we're happy to share it. And, and, and I think it's fantastic and, and that's mm -hmm. what I think was most interesting to learn about the organization mm -hmm. and continues to be something, like I said, that the community is very proud of. I think it, it sets the standard, the bar, uh, for others to, to work within the means and I think it's, it's, it speaks volumes. Uh, as I mentioned, the National Philanthropy Day luncheon is coming up Tuesday, November the 15th at the Sheraton Hotel, an amazing event, a must be, a must uh, must be in the area of uh, who's who and, and those movers and shakers that are doing so much. You guys do a great job during that day to honor local fundraisers, volunteers, and organizations who are just doing such great work. This year's award recipients are who? Well, who do you have involved? Dick is yeah. our outstanding <laughs> volunteer Thank you. fundraiser. Thank you. Uh, the outstanding leadership in corporate philanthropy, which is what Cox won last yes. year, is being uh, Dow Chemical. We'll let them have it this back. year. My friend Tommy Foshe is <laughs> there. Great people over there, Dow Chemical. <laughs> they do a lot. They of do great work. work. Uh, the outstanding foundation is the Joe W. and Dorothy Dorsett Brown Foundation, another foundation that just wow. helps in so many different areas of the city. The outstanding philanthropist is Steve Stump. The outstanding professional fundraiser is Mike Borg. Uh, outstanding youth in philanthropy, we have two winners, Kayla Alain and Lainey Langenstein. And I love to see the youth being involved. Yeah, what in, are the age limits for that? I mean, is there, a, what are we talking no. when we say youth? Uh, well, both of these girls are in high school. Oh, that's wonderful. So you see. The, 
Um, I try to get my two little ones as much as yes. possible in a young age to understand engagement, volunteerism, mm -hmm. and making a difference. So I think I that's happen what we to do. know Lainey Langenstein, and her parents have engendered that in her. Ah, that's and beautiful. It's, it really is important for you to mm -hmm. start young. <laughs> Make them appreciate it, and yes. then uh, and then the board of directors ward goes to the blood center, which most people don't think of as a philanthropic uh, entity. They just want your blood, right? right. Well, <laughs> they also give away a lot of money. Yes, uh, and support many different organizations in the city. So it's kind of an interesting award, and we're, that's the board of directors award. Well, Mr. Dick Truding, um, thank you for coming by. Congratulations uh, on! Thank I, you. I, I know you're very humbled by this outstanding volunteer fundraiser. Tell me real quickly about uh, how did you first get engaged? in the idea of fundraising and, and, and volunteerism? Well, I was uh, <clears throat> working at the Whitney, and I was there for 37 years, and they promoted and pushed a lot of uh, these kinds of things. Uh, you know, United Way, just one thing after another, and I always volunteered because I, I, I liked, liked the work. Yes. And uh, then as I, as I neared the end of, of my, my stay there, I, I got involved with people like, uh, Four Kids Foundation, which promotes the golf tournament. Oh, yeah. We give sizable money, amounts of money away. And then, of course, St. Michael's School. I was there for 38 years, with originally with Sister Lydia, and then Jane Silver is, is now the principal. And, and that was contacting and raising money. But all my years at the Whitney helped me tremendously when I would call and ask for an appointment. They generally, uh, Knew me, uh, knew I was honest, I guess. I <laughs> so it was great, and, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really ate it up, to tell you the truth, and, and I didn't find cold calls difficult at all because sure. I was used to it. And then as I moved out, uh, I'll tell you a funny story. I was sitting one day uh, after I'd retired, about a, about a month or so, and I'm sitting in my den watching afternoon television, and my wife walks in, and she just kind of stood there, and she said, are you going to do this the rest of your <laughs> retirement? She said. And how did you answer? Ooh, Very carefully. Quite, I want to hear quietly. your answer. Because so I, I moved, might learn I from this. I moved on quickly. But that, <laughs> yeah. that, that, of course, led me to a lot of things. Uh, the Boys Hope program at Jesuit, which mm. takes at-risk kids. Now it's Boys Hope, Girls Hope. Oh, it's, it's grown. Absolutely. And, and Jesuit High School in Dominican have helped us tremendously to get the kids in school. And, you know, wonderful arrangement there. And then... Something like the New Orleans Medical Mission. It's a group of 60, 80 doctors and, nur and nurses who go to uh, Central America. No, was, and yeah. they do a week of surgery. My wife and one of my stepdaughters made a trip to Ecuador and was wonderful. They, they, they got so much, they, they said they cried and were so happy with the things that were being done. But you know, you get it in your blood, mm. and uh, it, it's it's funny. And I, we have a program at Grace King that we're working on with, with Sheriff Norman, and uh, then of course the VOA. I, I was Jim LeBlanc, great Jim shows LeBlanc over came there. up to me and he said, "Have you got a, an hour or two away?" Uh, I said, "Yeah, Jim." <laughs> that was the kiss of death right there. Oh, oh that was that. man, what a great organization! <laughs> Absolutely, Al mm. and Jim just yes. do a marvelous job. They, well, they, we're handling people with a lot of limitations, mm. physically, mentally, and, and uh, with crippling things, and it's great. And, I, and you know that, Dick, a lot of people say that what, you know, the people who volunteer initially do it because they want to give back. But I know you would say it comes back tenfold. I went the other way. I really didn't think much about it, but once you, you go to St. Yeah, Michael's School yeah. and intermingle with those kids, you, you're just going to say, I'm going to make it, do a good job here. And that's you look at the yourself and say, I can yeah. do so much more. I can oh, do more. I can do something about this. Yeah. I kid a lot of my friends who fish uh, go to the gambling casinos and think it's a hard day's work. You're wasting <laughs> your time. You should be doing Well, Dick, congratulations. Good. Thank um, you. Thank you, You know, Brad. I, I'm sure if, if the community had a way of saying, and they will, yeah. uh, on November 15th, um, thank you. I, I like to say truly Good. on behalf I of the business community, that, thank yeah. you. Good. Uh, because uh, it, it's it's an honor to hear, and, and I hope many out there hear this story from you yeah. and realize that, you know, hey, time is the most precious thing that we have, and if we give of that, and, and however small or large, 
mentoring or just individually yes. or as a whole will make this region, this community, this city so much better. And, and thank you for your service well for said. that. Well, let's let everybody know. It's a fantastic event, everybody. It's a part of National Philanthropy Day. The luncheon is going to be on uh, for the AFP. is Tuesday, November the 15th at the beautiful Sheraton Hotel right there at 500 Canal Street in New Orleans. If you're interested in going, tickets are available and they're out there. You could buy a table still, if I'm not, yes. Al, still available. Uh, and that's uh, that's out there at uh, what uh, seven hundred fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, very good. M member and non-member prices are out there. Patron parties out there. Different levels of sponsorship. If you're interested, go to afpneworleans.afp.net for more information on how you can get engaged, how you can learn more. Again, afpneworleans.afpnet.org for more information about the upcoming uh, National Philanthropy Day luncheon, again, Tuesday, November 15th, at the beautiful Sheraton Hotel. They do it up nice yes. and take care of and you very well. Sure the prettiest, this, yeah, sure uh, Yeah. One of the city. nicest. Fantastic. Yeah. And uh, um, I'd I just like to say thanks to both of you, uh, Alice, for your uh, presidency at the AFP New Orleans. And, Dick, congratulations. Thank you. As well as all this year's awards recipients from Dow Chemical all the way down uh, to the Blood Center. Congratulations to all of them. I know much deserved and uh, are continuing to do great work in the community. Thank you. All right, everybody, Thank again, you. it's, uh, and congratulations, nice to meet you, Alice. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations, you. sir, an honor. Uh, let's let everybody, again, remember, it's Tuesday, November the 15th at the Sheraton Hotel, uh, 500 Canal Street, New Orleans. Again, the website, afpneworleans.afpnet.org for more information, and you have a chance to meet Mr. Richard Truding, uh, Dow Chemical, uh, the Dorothy Dorsett Brown Foundation, Stephen Stump, Michael Borg, uh, Kayla Al Elaine and Charlotte Langenstein and of course the Blood Center as well. Thank you both for coming by. Thank you again. And everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to this segment of Cox Connections going out to the Philanthropy Day event. It's going to be fantastic. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.